President Barack Obama, meanwhile, says he wants to allow 10,000 Syrian refugees into the U.S. this fiscal year, which starts in October. This, while the debate over Syrian refugees in the Magic Valley heats up. The proposed ballot measure calls for Twin Falls County Commissioners to put an end to the College of Southern Idaho's Refugee Center or face fines or jail time. And Twin Falls County Prosecuting Attorney Grant Loeb says it's illegal. It would be unconstitutional, and as it's worded and as it's drafted, it would have no effect. Uh, the first time it was challenged, it would be thrown out, and I think that, you know, that that would be the end of it. I'm very nervous about the change of our culture. There are a lot of people that I have run into, and uh, I would say that it's running 90, I had one person, so I'm going to say it's running at 99% against bringing in all these refugees. And the number one thing that I've heard from people is that I don't want to see our culture changed. I don't want to see this threat come into our area, this threat come into the Magic Valley, this threat come into Idaho. That's the number one thing I'm hearing people say. I don't want to see our culture change from a Western environment and have all these different personalities all these different things happening in our school systems, etc. Caller, good morning. You're on the air. Those who are trying to pass the ballot measure say they are concerned the Refugee Center is putting their community at risk. The refugees could be terrorists or connected to ISIS, they say. Rick Martin says the proposal sends a message. More or less a political referendum on the Refugee Center itself because we have tried to work with the board. Yeah, the, as you know, they're even suggesting to stop uh, people as ability to speak about the refugee center anymore so I, I just see it as almost a deadlock with the exception of one trustee and my biggest fear is and let's call it out let's put it on the line my biggest fear is little by little inch by inch and creeping into each and every neighborhood with the infiltration of this refugee program if there's a call to arms I'm scared the city of Twin Falls is known for the spectacular Shoshone Falls it's also now host to a spectacular swindle, the resettlement of more than 2,000 high-risk refugees from the Middle East and Africa at taxpayer expense. That's right, you're footing the bill for the importation of culturally alien, welfare-dependent populations. You know, whether it's Mexico or whatever other country, I mean, there seems to be no responsibility to take care of their own and provide for their own, etc., and just have turned us, the United States, into, and if somebody's offended by this, that's your problem, not mine, and turned us into a dumping ground for everybody to come here and we take care of. You know something, Tony, sooner or later, somebody's got to pay the piper, and I don't know about you, but boy, oh boy, I'm worried about my retirement, I'm worried about the funds, I'm worried about more money going to help refugees and illegal aliens than I am the seniors that have put all the money in these accounts. The Refugee Center, operated by the College of Southern Idaho, helps the United Nations and the Obama administration import third world welfare seekers into Twin Falls. On Saturday, August 1, the American Freedom Party sent an automated telephone call to every residential phone number in Idaho to inform them that this non-white invasion of their state and all white areas constitutes white genocide. Wake up, Idaho. Europe, America, and all white countries are fast becoming overwhelmingly non-white because you are afraid to take a stand. Well, some Idahoans are taking a stand. Conservative activists are calling for the College of Southern Idaho to remove its refugee program following concerns over the influx of Syrian refugees expected to arrive in South Central Idaho later this fall. A Christian pastor who was once a Muslim is spreading his message tonight in the Magic Valley. And it comes as the community is engaged in a fierce debate about a group of refugees set to arrive later this year. Lauren Johnson is live in Filer with tonight's big story. Michelle, inside this church, the pastors actually asked for an immediate halt of the College of Southern Idaho's refugee program. Take a look. 
Sharam Hadian is a former Muslim, now Christian pastor. Born in Iran, he lives in Washington and says he's visiting the Gem State to preach about something very important. I believe the refugee program, the resettlement program needs to be halted. So what I said was I believe that immigration, lawful immigration, needs to be limited particularly from Muslim countries. Cameras weren't allowed inside during his presentation, but it was a full house inside Filer's Canyon View Baptist Church. Pastor Hadian was invited to come speak by members of the church. Rick Martin is the congregation's trustee. I believe in voluntary charity. If individuals want to sponsor a refugee like they would an exchange student and house them and feed them until they can get on their feet, that's fine. But I think it's unfair to force the taxpayers, again, when we are so burdened with debt, mm -hmm. um, to, to run this program at the college. Martin says that this isn't about being anti-Islam and requests people keep an open mind to the pastor's message. I've never met the man until today and talking to him once on the phone. So let's just be open-minded and see what he has to say. Pastor Hadian did call Islam demonic while he preached inside the church. And that's a major concern to some people who came to protest the pastor's message. We have a refugee center here in the city of Twin Falls that has decades of amazing work under its belt. And I don't think that that can be undone by one individual coming in from out of state um, to talk to a handful of people about the dangers of Islam. Um, especially somebody who came to the United States as a Muslim immigrant himself, was accepted by the Christian church, uh, and then now gets to uh, preach the gospel or what he says it is. But those who believe in the pastor's message say it's about safety. On the FBI's own information, they have no way of telling who is a moderate Muslim and who is a radical Muslim. Mm -hmm. So again, I feel CSI is putting the whole community in danger by continuing with this program. But others in the Magic Valley believe in the Refugee Center, including Deborah Silver, who shares a story of learning about the trauma one group of refugees had suffered. To be a refugee, something really bad has happened. And he says, you can tell this is a hard walk because there are no children. That's the first p thing that people grab. They grab their children and then they run. And their children are dead. Can, can our community not welcome? Opponents of the College of Southern Idaho's Refugee Center have moved forward with a new potential ballot measure banning the facilities in Twin Falls County. The Times News reports the new ballot initiative calls for any and all refugee centers to be banned in the county. It also claims the federal program is run by, quote, the global left and, quote, religious frauds. A county prosecutor said a previous version of the measure was unconstitutional, but adds this one also contains legal problems. Before getting the measure on the May ballot, the group behind the petition needs approval from the county clerk and then 3,800 signatures.